Yeah, what up? It's your boy Wings Liddy once again. And doing the same old, same old. Nothing different, nothing switched, but something slightly different. I was looking for the back. Well, clearly. Uh, cat nap, fat people. Yeah, that's a thing. So, this week we're doing rye whiskey. I apologize for my lack of energy in this video, but it'll, it'll come along as, as time passes. Deep breaths, bro. You know, they say if you feel too tired, you gotta take deep breaths. So, you know, the oxygen can to the brain. And that's not a science lesson. We're here for the rye whiskeys, and I'm on the side of bullet rye whiskey. And I'm on the side of Crown Royal. Crown Royal is one of my favorite whiskeys. We've it's one of the first whiskeys I ever started drinking. Canadian company. Good stuff. Good stuff. They got a lot of flavors. They got different levels. They got Crown Royal, Crown Royal Black, Crown Royal Apple, Crown Royal Maple, and Crown Royal Rack, which we'll be trying today. And basically this is America versus Canada, the Canadian. Red and white versus red, white, and Listen, it can go either way. Let's find out which way it goes. Definitely. <laughs> we never really had both of these together. Matter of fact, I never even had rye whiskey before. So this will be a much an experience for you as it is for me and this guy. Yeah, I've, I've never tried to rye flavor either. But... <laughs> Get your hands on that apple, yeah. I mean, you, know, you mix that apple with a little bit, you get you a bottle of cranberry juice, and you just you just do this, you just do this, and in, 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 a, in, a, in a picture, it's, it's pretty nice. Oh man, this man talking about the mixed drinks again. Anyway, and not everybody drinks their liquor straight. Sounds like to a wider audience. Sounds like you're trying to appeal to the women. Nobody's supposed to, you know. I, I know women who drink their liquor straight, but I also know men who mix their alcohol because they can't take it. No, well, huh? <laughs> sounds like a personal problem, sir. Their personal problem. Either way, let's get it started. Let's see what these taste like. So, Dr. Liddy, which one should we go with first? Uh, I say we go with the Bullock American Rye Whiskey. Bullet, bullet. I don't know if these kids know what that means. Anyone who's Jamaican should know. Anyone who's West, West Indian, Indian should know. Bullet, bullet, bullet. Don't take a bullet. Either way, if you're wondering why rye would be a flavor for whiskey, it's very simple. Whis whiskey is distilled from a uh, grain. Bourbon is distilled from corn. Which we covered in other bourbon situations. But so rye is a grain. Not unlike wheat. Corn. Such a, yes, corn is a grain. But it smells really nice. I'm not sure if it's going to be sweet. Again, I've never had rye whiskey before. And, and mind you, this is, is definitely looking light. This this actually is kind of lighter than your average whiskey, too. It is. Like the color the color scheme is just like a gold. It reminds you of a reposado. Yeah. yeah that's like, yeah. Alright. Let's see how to see what it tastes like. Okay. There's a bit of a sour beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm assuming is the rye. If you've ever had rye bread, you kind of know what I'm talking about. But then it gets sweet. And smoothens and the taste expands in the ending. It expands in the ending. Rye whiskey. And like, it has a... 
it's a sour, sweet, bitter ending. So basically, it's like a sour patch kid. Sour, sweet, gone. Mm -hmm. But no, do not drink this thinking that it's like a sour patch kid. It's but basically we just use their slogan because it kind of kind of is. It, it yeah it describes what happens. It's and the funny thing, the lingering taste that it leaves is not bad. It isn't. It isn't. It's not bad. You have to wonder if uh, because it's from Tennessee, you know, Tennessee whiskey tends to be a bit on the sweeter side. Indeed. And this is from a weed. From a grain, my fault. Well, it's from rye. It's still from rye. But I'm not angry at it. Uh, bullet whiskey is it's, it's a great first showing. That was a great bullet in the chest. It's not that much of a burn either. Especially mm -hmm. by the time you reach the third sip. The initial burn. You get it like, because this is obviously this. I just woke up from that, so this is like yeah, a wake up drink. When they say this, uh, pull up drink. When they say this, put hair on your chest. This is not the type of drink to put hair on your chest. Sit down, drink. This is just a. This Stand is a up, chill drink. I can see myself smoking a cigar with this. Baby, drink. I don't remember the rest of the words, but um. After the initial first burn going down, it's definitely it's it's pretty it's pretty smooth. I like it, and it's not very expensive either. Oh, absolutely! You can find this in any li uh, any one of your liquor stores, guaranteed. This is a whiskey that is widely known within the states, which is good because it's nice that you'd be able to go to your local liquor store. And it's, again, option is a beautiful thing. You know, you don't have to go to the liquor store and, you know what I'm saying, if they're out of your favorite alcohol, you, you're not shit out of luck. There's a lot of other options out here. And, and that's what we like doing on this channel because we like to put people on. And hopefully you are watching the channel and you are watching the name brands that we put in out here because we had a couple gems that showed up even in our surprise, honestly speaking. So, pay Very attention. True. Pay attention. Hopefully go back. Go to go back to the main channel, see something that you have never seen before, and take our say on it because <laughs> ain't nobody like us. But either way, I can't wait to get to Crown Royal. He can't. I can't. So we done did the first bullet, and it's time for the Crown Royal. Shout out to all my Canadians watching. Bye -bye. Listen. I'm coming back. Carabana. I'm gonna be there. It don't even matter for Carabana. It's coming back. As soon as the borders is open. Oh, I'm coming home. Please. I'm coming home. Please shot that subscribe button right now. This is gonna show up over here. Subscribe. Liddy, you ready? I'm coming home. I'm telling y'all, man. I gotta stop sleeping on Toronto, bro. <laughs> Up north. Yo, 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 yo. You can't tell them the secret. They're gonna mess it up, B. They're gonna mess it up for us. Nah, chill. It's too cold. There's nothing up there for you. Don't worry about it. Word. That's a lie. I love Canada. It's my second home. I don't care. I miss Toronto so much. Good memories don't live like people do. That's not bad. Crown Royal smells nice. I smell, I don't know. I don't know. Let's give it a taste, see what happens. Okay. 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 Sound a little different. Slightly different. It's more full bodied, but it's not as sweet as the bullet. Mm. Mm. But it is more full bodied. This is a cigar one. Oh, have this is a cigar one. Mm. I feel like it has a little bite at the end of it. It has a little bit more of an afterburn. Yeah, it's a little bit more bite at the afterburn. 
Mm-hmm. At the end of it, the bullet went down smooth. The bullet definitely went down smooth. But this one's way more full body. Mm-hmm. That one I do give. Um, is there anything else I could say? Okay. Yeah, I taste is slightly different too. Okay. What I would say, my take on it. Um, this is totally situational. If it's the middle of the summer, I want the bullet. If it's cold outside, give me the Crown Royal. Because the Crown Royal has that nice, uh, again, as an afterburn that keeps you warm in your chest. I'm going down. But overall, what do you got? It was going to the summer winter part. Yeah, for sure. Because. If you're drinking to keep warm, oh, <laughs> that Crown Royal. Ah, worse if you got like a little mucus in your chest. Woo! That Crown Royal is dislodged. Wait, that will warm you right up. Is that me? <coughs> oh, yeah. I can breathe now. I can breathe now. Like that, 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 that strong power bit that you used to keep in the car. And that should just be like, yo, that small little power mint boy. Brooklyn Nights, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the blue mitts. <laughs> aye, 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 aye. Oh, man. I don't want to spoil it and be like, yo, I love my Canadian people. I, I, coming back. You heard? We're both coming back. I don't want to spoil it just because I love the country of Canada and I love Scarborough and Toronto. Six six six. This is saga. But I'm going to go with the smoothness for the bullet. I bullet. Not Tennessee me. whiskey. I'm not knocking the Crown Royal. It's full bodied, and honestly, it's it's not overcoming, but it's strong in its potency. And on this channel, we do prioritize smoothness, and I do absolutely agree. I'm, t- I'm picking the bullet. Just because, again, I smoothness, sweetness, the bullets, the bullets are better whiskey. But in Canada, in the cold, I'm putting on the crown. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm, mm. So, honestly speaking, who wins this match? Bullet. Bullet! Bullet! Whiskey. And as you drink, bullet does not uh, is not gonna get you any bloody holes. Hopefully, if you're not an uh, angry drunk. Um, sorry, twins and twins. <laughs> so everybody, keep it lady. <laughs> yes, it is. And drink responsibly, now, please. Bullet. Bullet. <laughs>